Hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Second Den Set Two Three Blind. In the last one, uh, we made it to this uh, this dark um, God Beast dude. Actually, I haven't played this in I think over a week. So when I went to fire it up, I was like, I I has no idea like where I was or if I was gonna need to grind. Because uh, sometimes I'd be like, Hey, I'm gonna grind, and then like I forget to do it. Uh, then when I fire up the game, get ready to record, then I have to grind, which sucks. Um, okay, so the question. Okay, so we have a blue guy on the left, and like a, like a pink dude on the right. Should I try, um, using fire on the... Okay, that one says Zabel. Okay, so it says... Uh, okay, anytime there's, like, more than one, like, attacky dude... Like, you almost want to focus fire on one, but then you wonder if, um, sometimes they have it where the other one will heal, or even revive the, uh, the other one. So, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we have, uh, plenty of heals. Oh wait, I should be using, uh, light. This is the, uh, the dark dude, right? Okay. Yeah, we got, like, a, this is, like, a special, uh, dude. This is, like, the very last one. So the game knows that I defeated all the other ones. Uh, okay, so... Who did one? Was, did the Holy Ball do one? Or did uh, Lice's attack do one? Speaking of Miss Lice, let's go ahead and uh, use Mine Down. Yeah, I got tipped off that uh, that lowers the um, the magic defense as well. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I forgot. She got hit earlier. Oh, wait, what did that say? Did that say magic? It, I think it said magic effectiveness down, and it said something else. I didn't see what it said, though. Uh, okay. Yeah, I almost have to remember how to play. Yeah, I know, I... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I try to make at least one video per week. Right now I have 12 videos per week scheduled. And with this game, it just... Okay, hold on. What am I trying to do? Ba basically, it's not that I'm not enjoying this game. It's just that, like, we've had so many long boss battles, like, back to back to back. That I felt like I just um, wanted to take a little break from it. Oh, that looks like a uh, boogie from um, uh, from Chrono Trigger. Boy, that uh, that move doesn't get used very often. It just casts stop on all the enemies, I think, right? But I don't know. I just I just felt like I needed a break. Like I I made it a point. Uh, actually, right now is uh, New Year's Eve. My clock says 11:07 on New Year's Eve. Uh, I remember actually because last year. I, I don't know, I'm not super big into New Year's resolutions, but one thing that I just decided to make a point where I was like, you know what, in 2018, if I need to, like, miss a day, if I need to, like, skip a day, not only am I gonna, like, I don't know, I really don't want to, like, torture myself if I, if I'm not, if I don't feel like making a video. I mean, I'm, I'm, like, most days I put up at least one video, but Monday through Friday, as of right now, I'm putting up two, but if I just need to put up just one and just do one for a while. You know, I just don't want to get burned out, you know? And, um... At some point, I decided to just start... You know, just paying attention to, like, my body and, like, how I feel and stuff. And then that kind of... I just noticed that I was like, boy, I've, Sometimes I feel like I'm... Like, I don't know, like, my heart's not in it, you know? Today, anyway. So let's just wait until tomorrow or whenever, you know... I don't know, this break was actually pretty long from this game. But, uh, yeah, when I was playing Breath of Fire 3, there was a point where, like, this now this was back when I just started Let's Playing. I'd been Let's Playing for, I don't know, less than a year. And, um, I was, like, trying to be really strict. And I, like, fell behind. So then I was like, well, I fell behind, but then tomorrow I'll do, like, two videos. And then the next day I still didn't feel like playing. So I was like, okay, well then tomorrow I'll do three videos. And it got to the point where it's like, the more videos I felt like I had to play, I just, it just became like more and more overwhelming. And I think at one point I got up to where I was like nine videos behind. And, um, I forget how many videos behind I was, but at some point I just, I just, um, I don't know. I don't remember really forcing myself. I mean, I, I guess I did, I'm guessing I did sort of a little bit, but I basically I just tied one off and just did it. And, uh, if you, if you go through my, um, Breath of Fire 3 videos, it was towards the end of Breath of Fire 3, uh, there was, I just recorded for, like, several hours at once, and then just chopped it up, 
there was a point towards the end of the game where the episodes got really, really short. And the reason I did that is because it was just to catch up on episodes. So I ended up just, like, putting all those episodes up, like, really quick. But, I mean, I don't feel like mentally I was compromised at that time. But I basically just decided that, um, like, from this point on... Alright? Well, at the time, I just said, well, let's just not fall that far behind again. And then, at the end of 2017, I basically was like, you know what? I'm not going to be super crazy strict about it. And also, I'm not going to mentally beat myself up if I miss a day, you know? Because that's, that's how it had been. Even if I just skipped a day or two. Even if I didn't make up the video. I would just, like, feel bad. I would just... I don't know. But, um... Okay. I mean, if I get to be like a... I mean, I'm, no, I'm getting ahead of myself, but... At some point, like, if I was like Game Grumps, you know, Game Grumps has 4.9 million subs. I mean, they obviously can't just skip a day whenever they feel like it, you know? But they also, um... They also don't have, uh, 40 hour a week jobs, so... So I just, I don't know. It's just self-care, I guess, just taking care of myself. I don't want to wait till things, I don't want to get, like, like a lot of people, I've seen, like, videos where people be like, I'm taking a break because I got burned out. It's like, well, it's good that they're doing that, but at the same time, if you, you know, if you start to see or feel the signs of it, then, oh, I can't target the other guy anymore, sweet. Then I, it's, I, it's, it's ideal, it's better to just nip it in the bud instead of waiting until you're suffering. Okay, let's, um, let's do mine down on, uh, dude on the right. Because that only did, um, because Holy Jam only did, um, two something. God damn it. I think he just got to attack twice in a row. I was hitting the, the button. Oh, gosh dang it. Carly, Carly, Carly. Alright. Get up, woman. Okay, let's also, uh, drop a heal. On, uh, Miss Lice. And Lice up to six, uh, 600? Damn. Is this the, um... Is this, like, the worst combination of characters, I wonder? Okay, never mind. Uh, mine down, mine down. Oh, damn it! I accidentally exited the ring instead of switching. And then in that brief moment, I hit X, like, as soon as I cancelled. But then he still got an attack in. Uh, okay, mine down. There we go. But, um, what was I saying a minute ago? I don't know, I was talking about, like, burnout and stuff. But basically, yeah, for, um, for 2018, I was just like, you know what, let's just, if I miss a day or whatever, it's fine, it's fine. It's not like I'm letting bajillions of people down. I don't know. If I was Game Grumps, yeah, if I had to miss something, I would totally feel bad for it. Actually, this year, they skipped, uh, they skipped Ghoul, uh, Ghoul Grumps. And yeah, Aaron actually made a video. He felt really bad about it. And I'm sitting here thinking... You know, with the community that he's, um, or that, you know, that him and Danny have, have built up. Shit, did I actually cast it? Did I cast mine down? I think I did. Let me just double cast just in case. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's better to cast it twice than to not cast it at all, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I mean, everybody knows that, like, they they go hard, man. They don't take days off. So if they forget Ghoul Grumps, or, you know, then... You know, they were still putting up the same number of videos, so it's not like they went down in video vault, like, number, like numbers of videos. So they could have just said, hey, we forgot, or whatever, or hey, I was, you know, whatever. Just do it later. Which they ended up doing it later. I have a feeling that um, next School Grumps, it's possible that, uh, I mean, Aaron did make the video, but I think that we're going to get more insight into what happened because for him it was actually kind of like a big deal because uh, it had been a it had been a tradition and there's so many people and he just has that feeling of you know they, their videos get like 300,000 views a piece so he just it, it's gotta it's gotta be hard to just feel like you let that many people down you know and it's not like I don't feel bad letting down a smaller number of people since my channel is much smaller but at the same time you know, I just hope that people will understand. And I, I mean, I'm sure they will. Because, I mean, like, I'm working a job, man. I'm working a job. 
I'm working a job and I'm a terrible procrastinator. Does also doesn't help. Actually, it's funny. I'm a, I'm a very, like, I'm a procrastinator, but like, I procrastinate things that don't really have like a deadline. Like, those are the easy things to procrastinate. Like, I don't procrastinate, like, paying rent, or getting up. You know, like some people can't wake up. Actually, a lot of people can't wake up. Like, they get up and then they just. They just, it takes them like four hours to like ease into the day, you know, or something like that. It's like, geez. Unless something happened, like if I didn't get enough sleep or something, um, then within like five minutes I feel fully awake. I guess part of the reason people have a hard time waking up is because they have a hard time falling asleep. Uh, I mean, everybody's got their little things about them. I mean, like I said, I'm a procrastinator. Some people can't fall asleep. Some people just lay in bed. For like an hour, two hours, three hours. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Whereas like me, it's actually nice because I know that like like if I have to, if if I have to wake up in eight hours and five minutes, if I lay down, I am a hundred percent certain that I'm gonna get at least eight hours of sleep. Maybe eight hours and two minutes of sleep, you know. But uh, yeah, falling asleep and waking up come pretty easily to me actually like if I'm awake for, like if I laid out like like if it if it takes me more than like five minutes to like fall asleep that only happens a couple of times a year and then usually I go huh that's weird I've been laying here for like five minutes and I haven't fallen asleep yet interesting and then I fall asleep <laughs> whereas like some people like mentally their their brain like can't shut off so they have like this anxiety where they're like, they're like, oh, the the longer I stay awake, the more I can't, or the less, or the less sleep I get, the more tired I'm gonna be, and the more I think about how much sleep I'm not getting, the more you know, it just they just get into these like weird cycles. Why is the um no? I that's what I knew you're gonna do, you bastard. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. I was just I was wondering why the um the left one had a intact horn and the right one had a broken horn also that is a scary face no pupils holy nuts yeah who the hell are you by the way were you the one were these two faces on the left and right were they like hand puppets or something yeah i don't know it is a little bit weird how their faces are not like animated the fact that that they're like motionless actually makes it sort of creepy um boy they all say zabel far should I just attack this one? Because if this one can revive these two, maybe that's like a scripted thing. Maybe it only happens once. I don't know. Let's just uh, attack it, see how it does. Oh, but yeah, I mean... Everybody, like... Okay, 191. Okay, let's um, mine down and see if, uh, see if it does better. Yeah, I think one of the issues with, um, like, diff different little, I mean, I don't know, I don't want to say mental disorder. I don't think procrastinating is particularly a mental disorder, but, but, uh, things like that, like, really, okay, holy ball, okay. I think the bad thing about being a procrastinator is that when you're a procrastinator, like, nobody, like, your life, like, nobody can, like, tell. Like, your life appears to be, like, normal. Huh, that was kind of a cool move. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, as long as you're not like... Because when you procrastinate, there's a difference between... See, if you procrastinate, that just means you put it off. And you put it off and you put it off and then you eventually do it. But if you're just lazy, you just never do it. So because you do everything that you're supposed to do, nobody really thinks there's anything wrong. Versus like if you had like an anxiety disorder, people can usually tell. Or if you have depression, I mean, can't always tell with that, but usually there are, like, some signs, like being socially withdrawn or or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a depression expert, but some people actually do become very good at hiding it. But uh, when you're a procrastinator, it's like nobody, it's not really viewed as, like, something that's, like, hurtful or, like, harmful or whatever. People just think, oh, well, they, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to say people don't take it seriously, but 
the negative consequences are not as obvious as if you have like an eating disorder or like a drug addiction or something, you know? I mean, if you have, I mean, obviously those things have, if you have like an eating disorder, if you're like an overeater or an undereater or a not eater or whatever, you know, uh, people can usually tell. But the problem is, is that when you're a procrastinator, there aren't any like obvious signs of it. Um, Carly, come on. Man, I forgot how to switch rings. Uh, that's Angela, right? Yeah, okay. But the the harmful effects of procrastinating is that you don't like, you don't like follow your dreams. Like you don't, you don't, uh, you just stay in a comfort zone. Like you don't go anywhere in life. Oh, that's a cool looking move. Not saying you don't go nowhere in life, but oh man, is that uh, is that all the way death or is that like um? You only have one HP. I know it said 999, but well, that's gonna be the one two blow. Pretty sure you're super dead. But like when you're a procrastinator, there are certain things you can procrastinate and there's like no punishment for doing. There's no consequence. Like if you punish, or punish, if you procrastinate putting off your dreams, there's no consequence to putting off your dreams. You just work a job your whole life. Or if you procrastinate pursuing the opposite gender and like starting a family, there's no consequence to that. You just stay single forever, you know? Um, okay, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, like, for example, I'm... I turned 35 recently, and, like, I, I look back at my 20s, and if I wouldn't have procrastinated starting a career, I could have been, like, way further ahead. I could have been making, like, six digits by now, you know? But, um... But, you know, it's important to not just be like, well, it's in the past, and there's nothing I can do about that, so... So, like... Emotionally punish punishing yourself is not a good use of your time or energy. Okay. Alright, immediately heal. Thank you for letting me access your ring. Okay, so am I doing the right thing by attacking the, the, uh, the upper one over and over again? Or should I attack the left and right ones again? How much damage am I even doing? Because now it's like three on three. And then they're doing like group attacks. That I'm guessing they all three need to be alive in order to do like a try attack. No, don't spell uh, death spell me, bro. I do like that effect a lot though. And then they immediately... And they immediately wombo combo you. Hmm. So actually, it's pretty interesting to see how my procrastinating has, or how how let's playing has incorporated itself into my procrastinating. Like I'll always I'll procrastinate like other things before I uh, record. Actually, I don't know. I don't like to record when I'm tired. So if I'm tired, then I'll always want to take a nap before recording. Like sometimes when I come home from work, I'm just tired from being. I do a repetitious job, so sometimes I'm just... Do I like Holy Blade or Holy Saber? Saber? I don't. So I'm tired from... Uh, my job is also really physical right now. So I'm like physically tired and it's rep repetitive, so it's mentally tired. So after being physically and mentally tired all day, I come home, I'm just tired. So I don't want to record when I'm tired, so then I just take a nap. And then I wake up. And then... And like I'm hungry and I don't want to record when I'm hungry so I have to get something to eat first and then around that time or somewhere in there uh, I have a cat the cat wants to be pet and how am I supposed to record knowing that my cat is neglected so I'll go ahead and do that great demon what the hell boom okay come on man I know that sometimes they uh, they retaliate with yeah I got tipped off again yeah a lot of info from um, a lot of info from uh, doing the comments appreciate it uh, the bad news is that my memory with this is not always 100% great 
But the thing is, um, yeah, what I was going to say in regards to that is that I don't really have, like, a, a, a melee damage dealer. I feel like spamming the spell is, like, my best DPS. Uh, damage per second or whatever. Oh, damn it, I'm doing that with, Car with Carly on time. That's still doing pretty good. I wonder if uh, Carly's magic defense or magic attack is higher because her um, her magic stat might be higher. No, it's about the same, I think. I should just use Carly. That way I can just either heal or attack uh, with Holy Ball with her. But uh, what I was going to say is that... Um, okay, hold on. Let's heal. Let's not get greedy with Carly's attacks. Is that, like, spamming spells is, like, kind of, like, the only way I can, like, do, a, like, a good amount of damage. Uh, because Lysa's uh, melee attacks don't do that much. And, it, and the other two characters hardly do anything. So even though I'm eating a lot of um, counterattacks, like, I, don't, I really... I mean, maybe there's a better strat. I don't know. But it just seems that um, just spamming the spells and healing is probably the best way to do damage quickly. Oh, it just sucks. It does seem like a cheap tactic, but it's like, well... But, I mean, if it gets the best result, then, you know... Like, what am I supposed to do? Drag the fight on longer to make it more exciting? It's like, well... If it gets dragged on, then it's not going to be exciting if it's uh, if it takes twice as long as it needs to take, you know. Um. Oh, man. Did I, I think I probably said this already. Man, to be honest, I wish they wouldn't have done it this way. Don't get me wrong, I still enjoy this game a lot, but... This whole, like, dungeon boss, dungeon boss, and then, like, the last... I think the, the last fight was actually not that long. But, like, the bosses before that were, like, so goddamn long. It was like, I don't know. It was like, it doesn't need to be that long, man. Is that only 243? Well. Alright. Come on, Miss Carly. You're up. That, I don't know. I feel like some story in between would have helped, um... Uh, would have helped with the um, with the flow of the game or whatever. It was just dungeon boss, dungeon boss, dungeon boss. And especially when the bosses were really long. It really, I don't know, slowed the game down, I guess. I don't know. And then this boss is taking forever now. This is like the running out of these things, too. Well, every time they use death, uh, death of a jam, there's nothing I can do about it. Do I need to cast, uh, recast, um, mine down, I wonder? Can I cast it on everybody? No, it's just one at a time. Well, it might not be worth it to cast it on everybody. I still don't, I still don't even know if, um, if it was better to, um, to focus on the, on the, the top dude. Because what if it only revives, like, the one time? Then again, I don't know. I can't even... If I uh, if I attack with... Actually, I could attack with Carly and then switch to uh, Angela's ring. I could actually cast faster. If I attack with someone whose ring I'm not controlling, I can do a double cast like that. There we go. Yeah, see, I think all three people need to be alive to do that move. It is a pretty cool looking move. But the um, the issue, I guess, that I'm having now is that it almost doesn't matter what it looks like. It's basically turned into... This is something that can happen with um, with RPGs, is that... Um, or, you know, Pokemon or whatever. That it just boils down. It, st it starts just feeling like numbers. Like, I'm giving them numbers, and then they're giving me numbers. And, it, like, it doesn't matter what the attack looks like. He, he just gets numbers. I'm just trying to give him enough numbers to kill him. And he's trying to give me numbers, but I can cure my numbers. And I can't let my numbers get to zero. I have to get his numbers to zero before my numbers get to zero. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. Oh, that was actually my attack, I think. 
Um, okay. Oh, so yeah, so it's actually 11.29 uh, right now. This video will probably go up a little bit after after New Year's. So, uh, I mean, I don't know, since I got time. I don't know, like I said, I'm not really big into New Year's resolutions, but I did sort of make one. I don't know, I didn't really skip uh, too many days uh, this year. I didn't skip that many, I didn't skip too many days the year before either. Uh, but I guess for this year, I don't know. I think resolution is kind of, I think resolution is kind of um, like a strong word. I mean, I don't know. Everybody has things about themselves they want to improve. I guess for me personally, um, I guess I would want to, I got audible.com because I have a, I have a book backlog and, um, but I have a hard time like reading. I'm like a slow reader. Uh, the Man of the Stone of Darkness has returned. Uh, that's why the gate opened. Oh no, this is a trap. We've been uh, de been defeating God Beasts in order to release their power. Oh, the classic. Now the Sword of, Man uh, Sword of Mana contains the power of all eight. That just means... Doesn't that mean that our sword is... Oh wait, no, this... Because uh, didn't didn't we get the sword stolen from us? Wait a minute, does that mean we've been helping Corrin and the others all along? Um, then we can't quit now, we have to stop them. Well, we just powered up the thing to, like, the maximum or whatever, so... I uh, also don't know which way to go. Uh, probably not that way. But uh, I have backlogs. I don't know if it's like a personality trait, but man, I have so many backlogs. I have a jigsaw puzzle backlog. I have a Netflix backlog. I have a book backlog, which I got Audible to help me with, but I still haven't um, really used. And I have a video game backlog and a YouTube watch later video backlog or whatever that's up to over 1200 videos it's ridiculous all my backlogs are like ridiculous um whoa does the statue not have a head oh that's fucking creepy man still heals you for some reason that'd be wacky if it gave you some like demonic message or something like turn back oh man okay I don't think we're I don't think we've been here Oh man, check that out. That's a cool set piece or background or whatever. Um So I guess that and oh man, into the dragon rock face mouth thing. Oh hello. You finally arrived, but you go on you go no further. Oh no, I'm trapped, I guess. Okay, we're fighting this guy again. Okay, we're at an episode. Um Yeah, I guess that and um also, my, my diet has actually slipped a bit. This is actually kind of hard for me to admit to myself because my diet's been, like, on point for, like, several years. Like, I don't know, six years? But this past year, it's really, um... It's really slipped a bit. Which, I don't know, I sort of take it as, like, a point of pride to be like, hey, my diet is better than, like, 99% of other people's. But, but honestly, I mean, I gotta be honest with myself and with y'all. It's actually been not super, uh great lately i mean i still eat vegetables like a lot but i'm like i'm eating a lot of unhealthy food along with the healthy food so then i kind of turn it's kind of turned into like because i eat so much healthy shit i sort of like justify it like rationalize it to myself that i can take the hit because of the other stuff i eat and um ideally i mean even if i'm even if even if i am evening it out the idea of, like, healthy eating is to not even out the bad stuff. It's to actually be on the on the healthy side of it, you know, and not to just, you know... The point of it is to be extra healthy, not to eat healthy and unhealthy and be like, well, then I'm just average healthy or whatever. The whole point of eating healthy is to be, like, extra healthy. So, uh, I think... I don't know. I don't like to say resolutions because then it makes it seem like uh, if you fail at it, then you just quit and you're like, well, we'll try again next year. I don't. I don't like to think of it that way. I like to think of it as just like something, something to work on, and um, it's you know it's slow. A lot of times I notice that when people make sweeping changes, they fail like most of the time, and then they feel bad. They're just like, "Oh, I said no junk food for the for the rest of my life, and then I caved and had a butterfinger, so now I'm a failure." It's like, well, you know, having small changes incrementally over a long period of time is what will yield the better results. So, um. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then with, like, procrastinating, it's, like, it's just a mindset where it's just, like, you just have to, like, catch yourself and just, 
and just I don't know. I've watched you I've watched videos about like how to stop procrastinating and the the solution at some point, I know it's going to happen, but I still keep watching them sometimes. The the solution always involves that at some point you just have to do it. And it's like, well, that's kind of not what I was, you know, I knew that had to be the solution, but at the same time, I'm like, well, I knew I knew that I was going to have to do it, so what's the point of watching a 10-minute video explaining what I already know? But basically it said that, like, when you catch yourself, you just have to, you have to do it before you talk yourself out of it, or you have to do it before you come up with an excuse why you shouldn't do it. Just fucking do it, you know. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, please hit that like button and subscribe to support me. And um, we'll take on this dude. I'm, I mean, this guy wasn't hard last time. I mean, maybe I could have had him killed by the time I was talking, but because uh, I'm guessing he's not like a boss boss. Maybe he is. I don't know. So I figured we were already close on being over on time. So I just, um, I just call it or whatever here. Uh, so yeah, we'll fight this guy next time. Oh shit, I forgot to put, I forgot to put more holy grails into my um, inventory. I guess if we die, I can just restart. Uh, from the save point that I was just at. I can do it there. So, anyway, that's going to do it. Uh, like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care, y'all. Bye.